Hello YouTube. Here we are back. This is the Palomar. I've got my board all rebuilt. Got it installed. And everything in this thing is testing absolutely 100% now. Uh, now we're going to get down to testing that transformer. And we'll put the camera down for just a second. Sorry about the ugly look at the circuit board. But we're going to go ahead and pull that transformer out for you. I've got the case already loose. I'm just going to slide it out. Take, take a good look at her here. Oh, sorry, camera fell over. Okay, now here we are. And let me get out my flute and show you a test lead where we got to do our testing. Well, I'm going to explain how I did it. I, I've already actually tested it just a little bit ago and forgot to film it. So I'm going to re show you. And this Palomar 300A is the one with the four diodes for, as a rectifier. So I have an actual rectifier that use four diodes. That means this is the 300 uh, volt transformer this one should have. Now if it has the actual rectifier, it will have a 600 volt transformer. And that is something when somebody loses a transformer, they got a transformer got out, they have to know that because you have to use the right transformer with whatever rectifier it's using. I've seen uh, people talk about that before. But here we are, we're in the transformer, and our two bottom contacts here, these are your uh, primary coil, and this runs 12.6 uh, volts for the heater tubes. Now these is your AC and these are your primary, and you have two secondaries. Now this one and this one, if I remember right, or is it, hang on a minute, no, it's this one. And this one, yeah, it's this one and this one are your 12-volt coil. Now, I know I said it's 12-volt coil. Now, on uh, this one and this one, it might read a little higher than 12.6 volts, but that's what it's rated as, 12.6. Mine, I actually had 14-point-some uh, volts. And this pin here and this pin here, these are my 300 volt line. Now everything's AC on this, not DC. And I have 333 uh, volts AC here, so that's good. And I had like 14.8 on these two here, which that's good. And of course I was getting my 120 in. Now the other thing I had with this, which you might want to make sure, if you have one of these you're trying to fix up, is my connector on the end here uh, sorry about that we had uh, yeah had some corrosion on there clean that up put some dielectric grease on it and everything but uh, we got that all cleaned up now what we're getting ready to do is we're going to be getting ready to do the big test yes we're gonna put the covers back on it we're gonna hook her up to the old cam or uh, 89XLR, we got my gauges out, and we're going to hook her up and see what it does. So, I uh, pretty well don't figure you want to be bothered with seeing me just uh, slide all these cases back together, or you might. I could do that right quick. Or I could, I'll tell you, I, I could probably just leave it wide open and let you see it go. Matter of fact, let's just do that. Let's just leave her wide open. Let's put the camera down. Prop it up against my D104 for a minute. We'll just, uh, oh, keep dropping that camera over. Okay. We'll get our transformer plugged in here. Got the transformer plugged in. Oh, that dang camera does not want to sit with the dang. So we're going to just give you a good look at the inside of it there right minute. Okay, while we're screwing the coaxes onto the Palomar here, I'm uh, hooking up the transmitter and then I'll hook up my uh, one to my gauges, which my gauges are already hooked to my uh, antenna. A lot of people probably won't use a dummy load, but 
what the hell. We might as well uh, light the tires, kick, kick the tires and light the fires and see what happens. Okay, now we just got to plug this bad boy in. <coughs> okay. Oh. Alright, let's turn her around here. Kick her radio on. Let's uh, kick the tires and light some fires. Woo! That sounds like we need to do a... Now that probably won't rattle once it's got all the screws and covers in. Our tubes are lighting up now, which we've never had that to happen before. Okay. Let's see. Let's let her sit there and warm up for just a minute. And I know a lot of people like to let them sit there and warm up 10, 15 minutes, but we're not going to do that here because, uh, yeah, it's YouTube. Okay. Now we need to do a little adjusting here. Just now while I do my adjust, run through my procedure of adjusting. Woo! Hold on a second here, we gotta, gotta, forgot. Okay. Okay, let's figure out, whoop, dang it, I keep knocking that camera over. So they're sitting standby, let's try a preamp. Looking on the radio here, right, let's turn the preamp back off. Let's go over here to the radio. Preamp. It did bring the gauge up. So you will change the station here. Okay, yeah, it smokes from my cigarette. It's not anything happened with the linear. Okay, let's go to operate. Give us some uh, modulation up in here. We're probably going to get some RF feedback because the mic cord's going right by it and there's no shielding right now. Yeah, we are a little bit. Hello, break. Yep, we are getting a little interference from the mic, no shielding, let's see. Uh-oh, where'd the camera go? Don't get near that. I'm going to... Woo, that is a bad mistake, people. Wow. We're going to take a short break. Oh, be back. Yeah.